Second Samuel nine seven and eight. David told him, "This is talking to um, where's his name? Math, Math, Mathibosh, Sheth, have no fear, I will show you sincere kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan. Now David's referring to a covenant he made with Jonathan. It was him and Jonathan. Only God and David knew about that covenant. To honor God, David is keeping that covenant that no one other than God could hold him to. Which shows David's integrity. And that he truly meant what he said to Jonathan when they made that covenant. Meshibetheth, and I'm going to stop referring to his name because it's hard to say, had fear because it was common. He was just in line for the throne. He, he could have been seen as a threat to David's throne. So most kings would have eliminated any threat to their throne so that their line would remain. And if their sons provoked to take their throne before they passed, they would get rid of their sons even in some cases. We see in New Testament how King Herod killed so many babies under the age of two. But we also know from history how he killed his own sons. And killed quite a few people around him because of fear for the throne. Um, moreover, I am restoring to you all the land of your grandfather Saul. And you are, on your part, may... Regularly eat food at my table. So what he's giving him is the land of Kish. Um, where Saul, uh, Saul was raising that donkey where he had it. And that, that's what he's getting. He's getting that back. You, you got to think over the generation they may have lost it because they moved to the palace. They no longer needed that. Well, you're no longer a king. You're no longer in a line. You're no longer living in the palace, so I'll give you your land back. You're welcome to come here anytime. You can stay here. Open invitation is what he's giving him. Isn't isn't He isn't just saying, come and I'll provide you food. It's an open invitation to live in David's home. Yeah, you got your land back, so if you want to go there, but anytime my door's open for you. And that, and that's awesome hospitality that he's showing him. And it's going above just showing mercy. The fact that he let him live showed mercy. It's showing him grace, too. Because he could have just let him live. That would have been merciful because... It would have been tradition to kill him, to eliminate the threats. But he shows him mercy by not only giving him his land back, but taking him in like fam letting him be like family. It shows grace. Again, he prostrated himself, explaining, What is your servant that you have rewarded such a dead dog as myself? So he's humble. Um, this... What Jesus did for us is far greater than what David did here. But too many times we want to be prideful. We don't want to be humble. We, we want to feel entitled. And we're not. We don't deserve his blessings. 